Nick. You ready to have a good day? You ready to have a good day? my channel as you saw i literally just woke up i did brush my hair though for this clip i wanted to kick off this vlog sharing with you guys kind of like an in-depth morning routine one of my new year's goals was to get back in the habit of waking up earlier and just having a nice morning routine that is simple that makes me feel good that sets me up for a nice calm as anxious free as possible day <laughs> i love a aesthetic morning routine video as much as the next person but i wanted to share with you guys a morning routine that maybe is a little bit more realistic or that at least i actually do maybe give you guys some tips that you can implement into your own morning routine. Personally, I love having a morning routine and I find waking up earlier and actually giving myself time for myself. It has helped me so much with my mental health throughout the day, it helped me feel calm throughout my work day, being able to start work on time, start work a little bit earlier maybe, finish a little bit earlier, all that kind of stuff. I used to be that person that would roll out of bed at like 8.55 and like onto my Zoom meetings at nine and I don't know it's just it's not the best I've also tried those morning routines where I wake up and go straight to the gym and I find when I come home from the gym I'm like scrambling to get ready after so I really love a slow morning I think that's what works best for me so I'm going to share it with you guys today I'm just rambling at this point so first things first my alarm starts to go off at about 5 30 and it's just light it's a sunrise alarm so you guys saw it starts like a very dark orange and makes its way to a brighter lighter yellow and at 6 a.m the song kind of starts going off i have like a meditative nice really calming flute sound that plays so i do not use my phone for my alarm anymore and that's been really nice because i don't even go look at my phone until many steps into my morning routine which i like also obviously i was awake to film the orange part of the light so sometimes the light just wakes you up really really gently before the alarm even goes off and that's really nice too because then you're getting up even earlier and you're waking up really gently and naturally step two is to make a cup of tea i feel like that's always been my morning routine it's like the way that some people roll over and turn on their coffee machine i roll over and turn on my kettle i've recently switched to green tea switched over from black tea just a new i guess like healthier upgrade for the new year so then i come back to bed and normally i don't talk to a camera for five minutes first thing in the morning so my timestamps might be a little off today because i'm going to go slower and walking you guys through this routine but i come back to bed and i will grab my wellness journal and i will grab my book whatever book i'm reading at the moment i used to do the five minute journal but I've put it on pause for now because I want to integrate this habit into my life and I don't want to have too many things going on in the morning, making it too complicated. This journal, five minute journal, regular journal, reading, agenda, like it becomes a little bit too much. So this has a gratitude prompt in it. So I've just been using this. Oh, my Casper light went off. We also have this light that like is kind of like a reading light at night and it also wakes you up with light in the morning. Um, and I think it just died. <laughs> so I missed a step actually because I take my temperature as soon as my alarm goes off. I roll over, stick this in my mouth, take my temperature. This is to track my cycle. I'm not using it as a form of birth control. I'm just getting started with it. So come in after I make my tea, come in and grab my wellness journal. I am obsessed with this journal, you guys. It has space at the front for your week. So you get to plan your week. Every day there is a space for planning your self-care, a little meal plan, planning how you're gonna move your body. You get to track your water throughout the day. You get to put in your sleep. And then, like I said, there's a prompt for gratitude. So I will fill this out in the morning. And at the back of the book, you have a tracker for any symptoms. So I track my stress, my bloating, <laughs> gas, lip picking, um, whether or not I've been taking deep breaths. You have a habit tracker, which I'm obsessed with. And then you have your cycle tracker in the back as well. So I will come in and fill in my temperature. And then I'll go back to the front and just fill out if I have any 
plans for self-care, meal plan, body movement, etc. Self-care is the name of the game in today's vlog. So we're going to do the self-tan. We're going to exfoliate. And yesterday I planned to do a meditation or a breath work and I didn't. So let's plan that again today. And I'd like to do a form workout today. So then in my quest to be tidier, I put the journal away right away. I put the pen away. All right, this next step is super, super important to me and that is to get cozy on the couch, turn on my sun therapy lamp. And another new addition to my morning routine is this incredible weighted blanket from Silk and Snow. I just put it on me, I get really cozy, I try and bring it up all the way over my legs so I'm like cocooned in it. And it just has such a cozy, soothing effect. Silk and Snow is actually the sponsor for today's video. So I'm going to tell you all about this weighted blanket in a minute, but it's been such an incredible addition to my morning routine. The weight of the weighted blanket just puts this gentle pressure on my legs, on my stomach, and it just feels so soothing. I also use the weighted blanket in the evening and it really helps me calm down after a long day of work. But in the morning, while I do my kind of thoughts gathering and everything, I feel like it helps keep me kind of grounded. Just putting like a really gentle physical pressure on your body that just helps keep my thoughts less like spirally and going crazy. Cause I don't know about you guys, but I definitely have the tendency in the morning, as soon as I grab my agenda, as soon as I grab my journal, it's like, all right, what's on today? Let's go. And my mind just starts racing. And like, at this point, it's like 6.15, 6.20 AM. Like it's too early for that. Before we continue with my morning routine, I want to tell you guys a little bit more about that amazing weighted blanket and officially thank Silk and Snow for sponsoring this video. Hello. <laughs> I am obsessed with Silk and Snow. They are definitely one of my favorite brands that I've started incorporating into my life in the last year. I discovered Silk and Snow when I moved in here. JS and I wanted to upgrade the bed and we were looking at Silk and Snow mattresses. We ended up getting their mattress, the wooden bed frame, which I love. Every time I get into bed, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I love this bed. And we have their sheets. They're simply amazing. We've worked together quite a bit in the past. And most recently they asked if I wanted to try their weighted blanket. And of course I said, yes, I've been curious about a weighted blanket for so long because I've heard it can have amazing effects for people who have insomnia or anxiety. So I really wanted to try it out for my anxiety. I've incorporated it into my morning routine like you saw, but also into my evening routine. This is a 15 pound hand knit weighted blanket. 15 pounds is pretty heavy. Like when I was unboxing this, I was like, oh wow. So you really, really get this nice gentle pressure. The last way that I've been using this is actually wrapped around me like this. And it's been helping me stay a little bit more grounded because as you guys know, I've been trying out more more meditations in the new year. I sit with this wrapped around me. We're going to do it later today. And it's just, you just feel this pressure and it helps you stay more in the moment. The last thing I would say is that I love the look of it because obviously this is something that it's too heavy to put away every single day. So whether it's laying out on your bed, whether it's on your couch, it looks really good. And how cool, like it's hand knit, it's made with sustainable materials. I personally think it's a really, really great investment in your cozy routine, whether that's your morning routine, evening routine, or both like me. And for me, Silk and Snow is just simply a brand that I really, really trust. Everything I've gotten from them has been incredible. So if you guys want to check out this weighted blanket, I will have it linked down below as well as just Silk and Snow's website in general. If you want to check out some new sheets, if you need a new mattress, they have the Zoe seal of approval for literally all of the boxes, aesthetics, quality, price, Canadian. We love it. So thank you so much to Silk and Snow for being an amazing partner on my channel and for working with me on this video. So I sit on the couch under my weighted blanket. You guys can see we have the sun therapy lamp on. That is another really, really important part of the morning routine because I don't know if you can see out the window, it's pitch black outside. So now I will sit here, I will sip on my tea. I first like to read, so I like to just take like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of reading in the morning. It all just depends on what I have in store that day, how long I can read for. 
And then I will write in my gentle productivity planner, just kind of plan up my day. Every day inside the planner, you have a gratitude prompt as well as a daily affirmation. So this also kind of helps replace my five minute journal. And it's really nice to start the day with like a brain dump, making your schedule. And then if I feel like it, I will do like some free flow journal writing. about to come home I just sensed it nighty pudding. pudding please I'm filming my morning routine today so I need to tell everyone that this is the part of the morning routine where my piece is broken because Gene has come back Gene has come back from his workout and you're full of endorphins and you're in a really good mood and you're like go 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 I gotta get to the office yeah, this is your morning race. But you like it. You thrive off the race in the morning. I'm a route racer. Race router. <laughs> like, I'm working hard to cultivate my peace in the morning, and JS is like, let's go! So, I always have to do my peaceful stuff before he gets back from his workout. Let's go join him. If you can't beat him, join him, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. So the good part though is that he does make me breakfast. <laughs> okay, let me just tell them quickly about this breakfast. Okay, well. I said me. We've got flax seed hand grounded. We've got some flour lecithin to promote liver health in large part. Cacao nibs, tasty. Walnuts, which is good. Brazil nuts, just a tiny bit. Chia. Almond butter, uh, not butter, but milk. That would be milk. You like to enhance yours with collagen. Yes. I like to enhance mine with berry flavored protein. And to top all of this off, we go with a mix of berries and the kind of blueberries and strawberries. So we put this all in the blender it's super elaborate, but it tastes so good and it's so healthy for you. Makes you feel so good. Okay. And then I eat two eggs on the side and you eat 17. 15. Yeah, 17 to, yeah. 15 to 17 eggs Depends on, on the, the side. Okay, so while he does that, let's go. I'm gonna go wash my face. I don't like to brush my teeth until after. Thank you. I don't like to brush my teeth until after I eat breakfast. I forgot to say there's cinnamon. Oh, shit, hold on. There's also Ceylon cinnamon and the nutty pudding. Thank you. So I don't actually wash with soap in the morning. I just do like lukewarm water. And my skincare routine's a bit of a mess right now because I'm just trying to use up all of the products that I have before repurchasing like my staple products. Um. So this is a really good moisturizer, but it's a little bit light for the winter, but I don't have my winter one, so we're just gonna use it today. Then we're gonna do some eye cream, and then I'll go spend some time with JS since he is making my breakfast after all, and this is like the only chance we get to spend time in the morning uh, together. So my first alarm basically is at six, and then my second alarm to like really get up is whenever he comes home from the gym and then it's like, all right, get off the couch, let's spend some time together, we eat breakfast together, and then we're both off to the races of the day. Come here. Good girl, wait, sit. Good job, say thank you. Good job, okay, go ahead. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> Let me just fix your ear, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Good. All right, this is breakfast, so we have the nutty pudding. Look at that pretty color. 
covered with chia and frozen blueberries. And then my latest craving, I guess, or just what I like to eat in the morning, is two like ultra crispy fried eggs. And I just eat that, like there's just salt and pepper on top and they're super crispy. It's so good. So yeah, this has been the dream breakfast lately. It's seriously guys, it's, it's so, so, so good. If you're curious about the nutty pudding, I will put a recipe link down below. It's a bit elaborate, but honestly, so good. Forgot to mention this, but while JS makes breakfast, I will come and like make the bed. I had some laundry to take down. It was hanging to dry, so I just took it down. I try and just be <laughs> helpful. I'll also help with the dishes. Just like the weighted blanket, this whole bed, my whole bed, my mattress, my bed set, the sheets, everything is also from Silk and Snow. It's just the best. And my pajamas that I'm wearing are from Garage. So now it's time, now that we've had breakfast, it's time to get changed. I like to put on either something super warm. I have these fleece lined pants from Garage. These are the perfect like walking Maggie pants or something kind of like active. So I'm gonna do a mix of both because I'm gonna do a workout when we come back. Where's my t-shirt? So after breakfast, it's time for me and Maggie's morning walk. Originally when I was thinking about the new year, I wanted to do the walk like as soon as I wake up. But the problem is that it's just so dark outside that it's not motivating, nor do I feel like super comfortable just going for a walk alone in the pitch black. So I just wait until after breakfast when there's a little bit more light. I'm also gonna put, a, I'm gonna put on a sweater because <laughs> we had like a crazy snowstorm yesterday. It was so fun. We took Maggie to the off-leash um, woods and she was just playing in the snowstorm, but it was really cold. So there should be snow everywhere right now, which is nice. Anyways, my new kind of habit stack for my morning walk is to listen to an audiobook. This is what I'm currently listening to, Becoming Supernatural. It's really long, so I'm only on chapter two. But yeah, I try and go walk for about 30 minutes, listen to the audiobook, spend time with Maggie, take some deep breaths and just get ready for the day. It's currently 7.43, so even though I'm filming, I'm actually right on time for my usual kind of goal timestamps of this morning routine. You ready to go out and play? You ready to go for a walk? <gasps> In the snow? Oh yeah! Guys, if you have a dog, let me know. If you live where there's snow, let me know whether your dog loves or hates the snow. I feel like some, it just really depends on the dog. Maggie loves it. She starts hopping around like a rabbit and it's the cutest thing. But let me know if your dogs love the snow or if they don't love it. <laughs> All right, ready to go? High five? <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's raining. This is really unpleasant. <laughs> There's giant puddles everywhere. It's actually like not that cold and it's just raining. So all that snow yesterday was for nothing. This is so sad. So that was my morning routine. Now for the rest of this vlog, we are going to be basically continuing my January reset, just still getting my shit together for the new year. I think the focus, like if I had to put a theme to it would be like feeling fresh. So I wanna give myself a little like winter uglies makeover, exfoliate, self tan, just kind of feel better about myself because I've been feeling really like dry and pasty lately. I wanna take down the Christmas tree and then finally it's time to really take the time to sit down and make a vision board for 2024 and for just like kind of the end of winter, like. Q1 2024 and I need to break in my new journal because I haven't written in it yet and I like to start a new journal with just like nice fresh pages, a little bit of goal setting and manifesting at the beginning. So we're just gonna have a nice self care, feeling ourselves, refreshing ourselves day to day. It's a little bit later um, because I was just getting some work done. I'm kind of balancing like work stuff plus filming this video today. So step one is going to be to put the self tanner on, but once it's on, I can't do a workout until like I rinse it off. So I'm gonna do a workout first. I've been dreading this and I've been like procrastinating because I don't feel like working out today. I'm about to get my period and my cramps are like, ugh. 
but it's only 30 minutes. I'm gonna do it from right here in the living room. And I just think sometimes you don't wanna do a workout, but you end up feeling better after. So that's what we're gonna do. So for my home workouts, I use Form. I signed up for an annual membership. I kind of fell off of it for like two months. I just like forgot about it. And now I'm back on and I can honestly say I love it. They have a January jumpstart challenge and I we're like many days into January now. I haven't been doing it every single day, but I'm going in order. So right now I'm on day five which is tone and tighten arms. Welcome to day And it's only 30 minutes. So <laughs> as much as I'm not in the mood, let's just get it over with so we can get on with the rest of our day. Okay, I'm so glad I did that. It was just quick and a nice burn and now I get to eat my watermelon. I don't know why I saw this at the grocery store yesterday and I was like, I need watermelon. <laughs> It is time to glow up. Step one of my little makeover is to exfoliate. So I'm gonna do a dry brush. This is the dry brush that I have. I've had it for years. I got it from a place in Montreal called Brow Bar, but they sell these like at health food stores and stuff. Starting at the feet, gonna go all the way up through the body. I'm not gonna do my face because I exfoliated the other day and I don't feel like I need to exfoliate before I self tan my face. So that is step one. And then step two is to like jump in the shower, continue scrubbing with everything. I don't like to shave the day that I self tan because I find it makes my skin a little bit too dry. So I shaved a few days ago. this stuff forever, like forever and ever and ever. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, it doesn't seem to wanna run out. And I hope it's not expired. So we're gonna start with the body. I'm using, like I just showed you, this Loving Tan stuff. I am waiting for it to run out so that I can go and get the Salty Face for the body because this, I have the one for the face. It's fantastic. It's also Canadian. So I just wanna get that for my body as well. Not that I don't like this, but I'm ready to try something new. Anyways, we're gonna finish up what we have. So, I don't know how I'm gonna film this. I'm gonna do my legs and then I'll show you guys when I get to the top because filming my legs is just, it's too risky. So you just give it a shake, squeeze it onto the mitt, and then I just rub in circles up my arm. Make sure I get my shoulder. And then I also make sure to get like this part here and get my armpit as well. And I really rub on the elbows. Then at the end, so like when there's as little product left as possible, that's when I bring it down and I go and get my wrist and I just gently go over my hand and just get everything there. I already did my back, like just kind of reaching, stretching. It's never perfect on the back unless you have help. And I'm also using a towel that I don't care about that much because I don't think this will stain, but just in case. I've never had any issues with staining. And then, yeah, go and get your whole, your whole body. I mean, you guys know. Get around your collarbones, do the back, etc. I leave my neck and my face for the Salty Face product. Time for the face. This is honestly a step that I need to do more often because it really gives me so much confidence just having a bit of a glow to my skin. Ideally, it would be natural from the sun, but when we can't have that, we supplement. <laughs> and sometimes I do this thing where I like save self tanning for like a special occasion or I'm like, oh, later, 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 and I just keep putting it off. But this whole thing took me like maybe 15 minutes 
and I'm gonna glow for about a week and I'm gonna feel good and I'm gonna wear less makeup and it's just worth it. So I get that all over my neck. I'm gonna do actually another spritz on my neck. And I really think this is just gonna help me feel a little bit more confident. Because I have not been feeling so great about myself lately. Like if you guys watched my January reset, I was like, I don't know, just feeling so crusty. It's so dry in my apartment. My hair is like super staticky. My skin's been breaking out a bit and it's just dry and like, it's just winter stuff. It's just winter ugly. It's such a mean expression, but I kind of love it. It's like making light of not feeling your best. So while this sets in, I'm gonna put on my bathrobe and then in probably about 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna just put on a dark sweatsuit. Normally I would also do this before bed, but I know tonight I'm not gonna have the energy, so I just wanted to do it during the day. And then you just wanna put on clothes that are loose and that are either dark in color or that you don't really care about. So I'm gonna wear a dark sweatsuit so that I can't stain it or anything, but I'm just gonna kind of let everything sit and dry for a minute. I'm gonna take this down. I'm not sure what to do with my hair today. I didn't wash it because it's like not dirty yet, but it also doesn't like look good. It's like in between. I'm just gonna make a little snack and I totally forgot to take my supplements. So I'm gonna take those out right now. It's about 12.30. I'm so glad I woke up like so early this morning. Honestly, you guys, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed just by the like back to work, back to like full throttle productivity. I feel like January is just so crazy. I feel like I'm being pulled in a million directions and I really don't like that feeling. I'm very fortunate that my jobs are quite flexible, which means that I can take the time to self tan in the middle of the day and to journal and to make a vision board in the middle of the day. But you guys, let me tell you, I feel so guilty when I do this. Like I'm so ingrained nine to five must be productive all the time that when I'm away from my computer throughout nine to five kind of days, I feel guilty. Like I feel really, really guilty. And there's kind of like a voice in my head being like, you shouldn't do this. Like go do some copywriting, like go do this, go do that. You have deadlines. Like you should be sitting at your desk right now. And yeah, it's like, it's a lot. I felt this too when I was working, you know, in consulting, if I wanted to go for a nice long walk and just take a break, if I finished, you know, some of my work and I wanted to take a break, in the middle of the day, I would feel really, really guilty. Okay, what did I just put in this water? I put a bunch of like mushroom tinctures. I've been loving these. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this water to take my vitamins. I don't believe that anyone should really feel glued to their desk. Obviously, if you're in the middle of a meeting or maybe you work a customer service job where you have like a shift and people are calling you or you're working retail, you know, and you have to stay at the cash um, while customers are in the store, like that obviously makes sense. Like when I worked at the front desk of the spin studio, it's like, okay, between these times, like you have to be there for clients. You can't be like on your phone and messing around, but at least there were clients and there was some stuff for me to do. So I was feeling occupied and the time was passing. But when you need to take a break or you're just like, like me, like I'm going to do my work later in the moments that you take a break, we shouldn't feel guilty. And it's been years of me trying to work through this, honestly. I'm just making a little snack with some homemade granola. <laughs> Look at me being such a healthy bitch, like wellness. New Year's baby. <sighs> Anyways, that's my rant. I don't know if anyone can relate. I'm sure people can because we're so ingrained to just be productive 24 seven, but I'm working on breaking that.
starting to feel a lot better. I just sat down, weighted blanket, made the vision board, and then I was like, oh, maybe I'll do my journal another day. And I was like, Zoe, just take the time to just start the journal. So I took 10 minutes, started the new journal, put in a category for my financial goals, my personal goals, my career goals, and I'll probably come in and add to it as I reflect and as I think of my financial goals because I don't have them like all um, you know, concrete yet. Let's normalize not waking up on January 1st and like knowing exactly how you want your year to go. It takes time. So I did that and I did my vision board. I started by making the one for my computer background. What are you doing? Do you wanna go up here? Do you wanna go up? Good job. So you can see on the screen, this is the vision board that I made. I'm just going to resize this after for my phone. Let's run through it quickly. So in the very center, my pride and joy, what I did was I just went to someone's channel who had like almost 100,000 subscribers. I took a screenshot of the number and then I just stuck it over my channel description so that it looks like I'm looking at myself with 91,000 subscribers. I kind of like that it's a random number. It makes it just feel more real. And when I did this with 50,000 subscribers, I feel like I grew way faster and I achieved my goal faster. These manifestations, they really work. So you could do this for anything. Like if there's a certain job that you want, you could like take a screenshot of someone on LinkedIn who has that job title and then stick it on top of yours. So you get the exact same font and the exact same look could do the same with like your bank account, all that kind of stuff. I think with vision boards, the more real you can make it look and the more it really looks like your own life, you're gonna have an easier time really projecting into that image and therefore a faster time bringing it into your life. So we'll start at the bottom. I actually used a few pictures from my own life, which I feel once again, makes it more familiar to me. It helps me really project into this vision board. And it also reminds me of really, really nice moments. So this was from Estorel, this was a sauna. This was from the gentle productivity photo shoot. This is not my image, but I would like to play more tennis this summer, save money, of course. We have a bar studio. This is not the one I work at, but it's just like an aesthetic one. That's my living room. Down here, we have a Bottega bag. In 2023, I bought my first designer bag. It was a Louis Vuitton. And I'm definitely starting to think, like six months later, I'm starting to think of, okay, what would I like my next designer bag to be? I think it's gonna be this Bottega bag, or you can see there's one over here in white. I just love the size. I feel like I'd be able to fit my cash envelopes and then black or white so that it can be really, really versatile. But these bags are expensive. So it'd be cool if it happens in 2024, but I definitely have other financial priorities. I put some text up here, $20,000 to my RRSP that I think is my biggest financial goal of the year. This is an image from Pinterest. We have some girls doing a run. My goal is to run a 10K this year and my friend Michaela is gonna join me. So <laughs> this is her and I crossing the finish line of that 10K. We have Italy. This is a really cute photo of Maggie just like giving Paul, like listening to commands. <laughs> and I wrote Maggie stays alone. I feel like this is something that is so big, her separation anxiety. I've been really good at doing her training so far. Okay, not really good, I've been good. I gotta do it today, but manifesting that she can stay alone. How cute is this ski outfit? I really wanna get a new ski outfit and just in general, I really wanna become a better skier and it's like such a hard sport. So anyways, putting that on my vision board, the Bottega bag again, I put berries because I love going to Barry's boot camp. I so wish we had one in Montreal. Whatever it costs, I would literally pay for that monthly fee or I would like try and get a job there so it could be free. I would so happily work the front desk at Barry's if they give you a free membership. Like I would love that. We have some stacks of books. This is my bedside table. Once again, using one of my own photos with the hatch alarm, going to bed early, waking up early. Another photo of Estorel. For me, this is manifesting more like stay opportunities in exchange for making content. And also I made so many videos in Estorel. I still have to edit them. I still have to upload them. And it was such a cozy and just dreamlike time. So this photo just reminds me of all of that. Cooking here on the bottom left. I just thought this photo was so cute, like holding hands, kind of blurry. Love it. This is a photo of Ball Harbor. It's JS and I's annual tradition to go to Florida, go to Ball Harbor, window shop. So 
I really hope that gets to happen again this year. This is a photo just with my Stanley cup and my computer that I took. And then of course we have cash manifesting that money. <laughs> and also you guys can see the text. I wrote Canada Inc, uh, $100,000 income. We're gonna dream big, why not? But this is the year that I finally really start treating myself like a business, getting incorporated, thinking like a business, all that. So that's my vision board. All right, you guys, the very last thing I need to do today is take down the Christmas tree. It is so overdue. I'm gonna take down the Christmas tree, bring it back to storage, and my car right now, my trunk, is full of clothes and some home stuff that I need to bring to donation. So we're gonna run those errands to end the day. And then I don't know how, but I have to like sit down at my computer and do some work because you guys aren't gonna believe this. I have a presentation tomorrow for copywriting. I have some stuff I need to present to literal executives of the company. I thought the meeting was in the afternoon. So I was like, perfect. I'm gonna dedicate my entire Thursday to copywriting. The meeting's at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna have to like wake up at five and like do the work. And obviously I should just go and work on that right now and not take down my Christmas tree. But I'm like, if I take down the Christmas tree, the pressure to finish the work, it'll, it'll get done. If I just do the work, the Christmas tree won't get done. Gina, do you see what I mean? Christmas tree in its box it was such a struggle and I forgot the freaking stand <laughs> I taped it all up and everything so I'm just gonna tape the stand to it but like come on that snowman is gonna go too but this corner is now super empty which is great <laughs> we've been wanting to build a small little home library reading nook here so finally with the desk being over there and the bookshelf that used to be there we got rid of it we're gonna keep the desk there. We're probably actually gonna get rid of the desk altogether. But I found this chair on Wayfair that once I sell a piece of furniture, I'm gonna sell that desk, I'm gonna sell the desk in my office. I'm gonna use the money to put towards this chair and then we'll have a reading nook and I'm so excited for that. Mistake. Okay, that's done. You guys, it feels like spring outside. It's like in the plus degrees. Oh my God. Yesterday was the dead of winter. Today feels like spring and we are seeing blue skies and sun like we haven't seen in weeks. So I'm taking this as my sign to really just calm down while I was waiting for my car to get like warmed up. I always let my car like warm up for about two minutes before I start driving. I just took some deep breaths and just kind of reminded myself that like, I'm safe, everything's fine. I can do everything. I know I'm gonna get my presentation done. Like I'm not the type of person who's gonna show up with the presentation not done. Like I will always get it done. And I just reminded myself of that. And I also reminded myself like, I could stress all day today and the meeting could get canceled five minutes before because that's happened to me before. So why bother? So on that note, you guys, the last step is for me just to bring this to my storage locker, but I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for doing a makeover with me and cleaning up my house and making a vision board and spending the morning with me. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to Silk and Snow for sponsoring and you guys, I will see you all in my next video. I have so much good stuff coming up, so make sure you're subscribed. We have a no spend week. We have productive vlog. We have so much stuff. So I love you. I'll see you there. Bye.